for this is just a really quick video update. It's like 2:25 in the morning, and I was really bothered by that whole stupid spark plug boot thing messing up. So I finally fixed it. Now you can see here that's that doesn't look like um, the original spark plug boot. That's because not the original one's right here. See how it's broken and crappy and plastic? This one's made of rubber and it actually clips onto the spark plug. In fact, let's see if we can get it off. Shouldn't be that hard. Shouldn't be, though, well, doesn't always mean it will. So hold on. You can look at this mess for a second. I want to try to pull this thing off. It is quite difficult, actually, but that's good. Because it's hard to get off, that means it should be... There we go. Okay. So, see we have the uh, little brass tip, and then we have the rubber boot, and you can't see inside it because it's dark, but there is, um... This is actually off of my car. Like, not, not actually, like, right now. No, it's off of this. This, um, thing right here, this coil. Sorry. Um, see how it's got these, the boots? And there's these two, uh, missing ones. And then these, these went to the spark plugs. And these went, this went to the distributor cap. So we're actually reversing it. And this, that now goes on the engine. And it just clips on there all good and nice and doesn't move or anything. Uh-oh. Did I do something dumb? Um, I don't think so. Oh, that's what I did. Yep. That thing, so that thing will go like there. Um, but I still need to get that one bolt replaced. But, other than that, we're good. Right now, that thing's all in order. I might chuck this thing back on there. Just for good measure, but, eh, I don't know. I have to pull this off again. That's kind of annoying. The other thing, if you notice my other video with the annotations, I had this thing on upside down. Um, the intake things are supposed to point downward. The carburetor should be at the bottom, and the throttle cable should be sticking out the top. I had it upside down, so I had to disconnect this so I could flip it around because the clutch cable and throttle cables were pretty much tangled up in each other. <sighs> so, if you buy one of these kits from the same place I did, or anywhere else, and you get a really crappy um, thing, a spark plug boot, what you do is there's a screw, so what you do is you just twist this off, and then you cut some of the insulation, like the rubber, cut that off with something like these, have the nice little wire cutter part right there, and um, then you have the copper wire exposed, so you twist that up, and then what you do with it is you pretty much take it, and it's like this, and you kind of bend it back over on itself like that, so that the wire comes out of the insulation, and then wraps back around on the insulation so it touches the metal contact. Because that's the important part, you need it to touch the metal, because the metal's going to touch the spark plug. So if you've got no electricity to the metal, nothing's going to work. So hopefully, um, tomorrow's Saturday, hopefully I'll get at least one other thing done. Um, maybe get this derailleur off. Isn't it nice how dark it is over here, because I don't have those lights on? I mean, look how nice the hub right is over here, and then over here it's like we're in a dungeon. Um, the clutch cable I think needs to be tightened. Uh, there's like a few little things, but that still needs to be done too. I need to get the chain shortened. So I have to go find a motorcycle place and a uh, metric Allen wrench for that, the clutch thingy. Alright, good night.